Riley and welcome to the studio. Today I'm doing a quick craft challenge. I have been seeing these cars on the internet that are made out of Legos and balloons. And by trapping energy in the balloon when you blow it up and then releasing it, the balloon makes the car go. I have been wanting to make this for a long time and I'm so glad you're here to make it with me. Check it out. I think we should start with the wheels. We need the tires, some rims, and some axles. Let's choose these shorter ones for this. We'll put the rims in the tires. And then the tire on the axle. Perfect. Now I have two axles ready to go. What should we make the body of our car with? Let's just start with maybe this long green section, kind of flat. I'll attach my axles to the bottom. Cool. So, so far we have a pretty basic green car. I put some different things that have holes in them over here that will help hold the balloon in place. Just to get started, let's put one of these right on the back of the car without building anything else and blowing up a balloon just to see what we're dealing with. I'm gonna put this balloon right in the back through this window, which doesn't have any glass in it right now. We'll fill this up with air, and as the air comes out, it will push our car forward. That's the hope anyway. Let's check it out. All right, here we go. I'm holding the back, and now I'm gonna let the back of the balloon go, so hopefully it'll push this car forward. Ready? One, two, three, go! It totally worked, and it went so far it flew off the edge of my desk! Okay, now that we know this might work, let's build it up a little fancier and see if that works too. like windows on a long green bus? Maybe. Here we go, let's try this one. Because we added more blocks to this, now the car is going to be heavier. Do you think that will make the car go faster or slower? Let's see. Great. What did you notice about this car that was different than the first car that was just flat? It still went off the table, that's the same. It did go a little bit slower. And also, if you remember, at the very end, it started to turn. I wonder what would happen if we made our car wider, wider tires and a wider base. Let's make it. Right, I think this car looks cool. Time to put our balloon in. Time for the test run. Cool! It kind of did the same thing. A little bit slower than the first car because it's heavier, but a smaller curve. I have an idea. Welcome race fans! It's race day here at the Kylie Makes It studio and we are here to see which car is fastest and which car can go the farthest. Let's test farthest distance first. Let's start with team green yellow! The balloon is inflated. At start, 
Ready, set, go! Oh! <laughs> Each car is going to get three tries. Try number one. Try number two, here we go! Oh, really about the same. Try number two. This is your last chance, green, yellow. Focus up. Ready, set, go. Okay, okay. That was not bad. At least you stayed upright. Try number three. Let's get our ruler out. On their first try, team green, yellow made it eight and a half inches or 22 centimeters. Try number two. They made it 25 centimeters or about 10 inches. And try number three was exactly the same. We're going to find the average of all three distances to find the average distance that the green and yellow car went. To do that, we're gonna add together all three tries and then divide by three. So eight and a half inches plus 10 plus 10 divided by three, 9.5 inches is the average distance of the green yellow car, or 23 centimeters. All right, Team Red, let's do this. Three, two, one. Whoa, a little further. Try number one. Try number, whoa, my back came out. Ah, my car! <laughs> Pit stop. Here we go! Whoa! Try number two. Do you think we can get it to go even further on try number three? And go! Wow. Well already see that red car way beat car yellow green for distance but let's just measure and come up with averages anyway the math is complete and as we guessed team red won by a lot when we were measuring how far the cars would go the average distance for team red was 17 inches or 43 centimeters congratulations team red Woo! Coming in second place was Team Yellow Green with an average of 9.5 inches or 23 centimeters. Good job, good job. Admirable, admirable. Here's your trophy, Team Red. Now to measure how fast they can go. Since neither car can really make it all the way to our amazing finish line, we are going to time them to Yellow Green's shortest length. Who's gonna win, gonna win, gonna win? Who do you think? Only one way to find out. Let's go! On your marks, low, get set, go! Whoa! Go! Oops. Go! Ooh! Yellow went faster, red went further, but yellow would have reached it before red if it would have gone that far. I'm gonna give that one to yellow green. That's two out of three, which means yellow green wins first place for going the fastest. Woo! The crowd goes wild. Congratulations, red. That is nothing to be ashamed of. You went the furthest and you both are winners here today. What did we learn? Well, we learned a lot of things. We learned that when we made the car lighter, it went faster. But when the car was a little wider and heavier, it went further. This would be so fun for you to keep experimenting with at home. If you have Legos, kind of a basic set, you can make a lot of variations of these cars and see what works best for whatever you're trying to do. You might even be able to make a trick car. Who knows? You could use Legos to make ramps and they could go Whoa, flying. Oh, that would be so amazing. I love making things with you and I can't wait until next time. If you want to check out more stuff, search for Kylie Makes It. K-Y-L-E-E. -E. That's me. See you soon.